Hello and welcome to another video where we're going to create this image by compositing uh, sky, little bit of rocks, wings, some rings, uh, and work a lot of with the lights and coloring. So we'll begin with the, um, this image. We'll go increase crop, remove some elements, expanding, retouching, how say the coloring, and a lot of blending with the different elements. So we'll go create this backlight, kind of back wings with all these lights going on with the shadows. So let's go ahead and start working on this image. So let's go ahead. We'll start by selecting our image. And this is from some photo shoot. If you notice, we'll look on an image right here. I have some um, from fluff kind of what I call guts of the teddy bears. <laughs> it's actually poly uh, feel, which create kind of look like a clouds. It will help us to isolate this. And it was shot with a light above. You can see one light going down. So we'll go ahead, open this in camera raw to process. Um, the shot was done in the Canon R5 with a 24-105 lens. And I usually keep it on 50-55 when I shoot in this way. Again, how we can view um, viewing positions when we'll have the back wings right here. Uh, this is camera raw. In camera raw, you'll notice I'm processing in 16-bit. Many times you may set 8-bit. I found 16-bit work better for me. And I'm using Adobe RGB color space uh, through all of my camera and production, everything. Um, you can use any different color space, but I would recommend for you to keep it consistency between your camera and a processing. So just have a little bit easy way to follow. Okay, the first things what we're going to do is take highlights and bring them down. And you'll notice it just to recover some of those exposure. Uh, camera have a very nice uh, dynamic range, but because we're going actually from 24 bit, we're going down to 16 bit. We want to preserve some of that information that may be lost in a highlights. So there again, we're going highlights from the our normal and you can see we'll just bring them down. Don't worry if your image start looking a little bit flattened. We will recover this with dodge and burn techniques. Uh, shadows, we don't need to bring up, but if you want, you can bring just a little bit. Be careful with the shadows because anytime when you bring in, it will create more digital noise in a darker areas. Like example in her hair, right here, we can look closer. If we increase, we'll start creating more digital noise. Again, because it's a um, camera with high dynamic range, it's kind of nice about this. It does not have that problem as much as maybe a little bit other ones. But again, we'll keep it a little bit down. Next, I want to increase sharpness. And the sharpness um, for the specific camera I'm using is built inside pass, anti-aliasing pass, kind of making um, remove sharpening inside the camera. It's some technical issues why they do this. Some camera does not do this, some do. I know my does, and because of this, I'm usually restore my sharpening to original to about 70, between 60 or 80, somewhere around there. We don't need to worry right now about noise reduction because we don't have that much. Luminosity, maybe take skin on a little bit because flatten and just bring luminosity on the oranges just a little bit up to brighten up some skin elements. And of course, remove chromatic abbreviations and use profile corrections check in for my lenses. You can see it is depend if you like on the on the profile correction. However, I almost always use the chromatic abbreviation reduce. It is remove some cyan and uh, teal kind of shifting on lenses, color shifting, and doesn't matter how good lens you are, you always will have that problem. So this is just will help us. And next I'm going to open this image inside the Adobe Photoshop. This is the latest Adobe Photoshop version um, on the CC, wherever it is loading. And if you have it early versions of Photoshop, almost all these techniques will be useful there because we won't do anything specifically to this version. Okay, right here we have it our first, our basic layer. And I'm going to just duplicate, drag and drop and duplicate this copy. And we'll go remove some elements. Uh, before we remove, actually, I want to make a color. Let me show what's happening. So if we're using our tool, patch tool, and if we're selecting elements and drag and draw, you can see it's creating darker area. So before we do this, what I like in this area, we can take our clone tool. 
Okay, we'll just select somewhere around this area and I'm just with clone tool putting in. Okay, let's go ahead with 100%, so it will be a little bit faster. Don't worry too much about matching. I'm just needed kind of create similarity in this way. After we'll go take our patch tool and now we can apply with a patch tool and you can see it will match a little bit better with the coloring. Um, we don't need to worry very much about uh, look precisely. We just needed consistency because we're going to use this as overlay with the clouds or other elements. And we have a drop down on the uh, wrinkles. Usually sometimes I'm purposely will create wrinkles on the background. It's kind of nice how they combine together. But in this case, just one wrinkle not necessarily will work. So I'm just going and remove that wrinkle out of here. Okay, I think this is almost ready for us for preparation for the next step. And then now I want to retouch a little bit on a model. So we're creating um, so let's go rename this fix back. I'm going to create new layer and this layer will just call it retouching. This is mostly will be for us to touch up on a model. I'm using healing brush tool. Um, if you're going with very complex, you always can go with frequency separations or do any other techniques it's up to you. I found for the small things, this um, healing brush work very well. You do need sample areas and in some case on the back, um, it will work like frequency separation. So it will texture, it will separating low frequency and high frequency, combine them and fix it. That's why I like this tool. So I'm going to sample area around there and going just to fix. And you can see how it's already just like right here, this area, I'm just sampling skin and going fix. So just don't need it too much just fix some elements that maybe stand out. Right there, we'll leave it those glitter kind of on. So they almost all look clean, nice. We don't need to worry about a lot of stuff. Um, if it's Angel, I want to remove some of those um, small elements like skin and perfection just big ones not everything and we'll go smooth the skin anyway but that will help us with when we're going to smooth like this dark area just let it move slightly okay let's go to next arm and again i hold down alt or options select area of sampling and sampling you try to do skin closer to the item sample because otherwise maybe how your camera focus or lighting you may have a little bit different results so i always recommend sample close enough and do it that way okay i think we're almost down here let me verify your feet look okay so i don't have it any um thing strangling Okay, I think it's look good. So this way we're done first. Second, what we're going to do, it is smoothing out. And we want to do this before we do dodge and burn because with a smoothing, it's help us. Um, we'll lose some of this depth and we'll do after dodge and burn. Then we'll need to restore again some of the depth. So for this, we'll go create new layer. Actually, um, let's undo this. We want to Control shift alt e command option alt e on a mac and it's what does take all visible layers merge them in one and create this layer so we want to combine all of those layers together and we we'll call this smoothing we'll go to filter noise dust and scratches and then dust and scratches we'll just use it a value of how many pixels you want to set it is depend on the original image what do you have at size right here what i'm doing i see the shapes is there but i don't see all those small details you remember which bugging us so maybe just a little bit up slightly create a nice smooth look so when i think that is will work nice to what we're going we'll press okay and there you go we have it our smoothing for this one we want to actually create mask alt or option and click on a creating mask it will create a black mask so 
all the stuff that was there just hidden and we will use a brush we want to use that soft round brush and we want to use at least 10 percent opacity or lighter and we'll just start brushing in um, mostly what i do you can see it will kind of start removing some of this texturing it's all what does it is remove small details and make it look smoother but as we're doing this some will lose some highlights and you will lose some details so be careful with this i'm avoiding hair because it does not look good almost all time exclusive will do just on the skin okay well don't touch any eyes we don't touch any hair with this we'll just just slightly right around there and almost the way you want to preserve texture i don't touch lips with this because um texture but also you can use these techniques if you have it somewhere very high digital noise you can smooth out some of the digital noise out of this or remove small wrinkles okay let's go look right here what we've done so far and you can see before and after you just leave it smoother out so be careful with these techniques because you lose details and you can make a very look like milky kind of not very pleasant look but we're going to do that so we'll go smooth right here a little bit and of course her hands and feet will go smooth them out okay we'll go add a little bit more you can see like details we're losing and uh, hands arms we can actually do a little bit more so let's look um the interesting things with that because how we're using these techniques it will help us to create a painting effect um when you paint with oil or any other media what's happening you are um, just make a strokes you mix paint and this and you don't add so much texture you can add texture to the skin later with a um, bristle or other brush but because we're doing here we're actually removing some of those details it's what we make also look a little bit more like an oil painting or as a painting because we are have a reduction in the details and this also will play secondary role for us reduction in details then we can focus um, eyes on elements that we wanted because the small details our eyes will be kind of lock on this and try to figure out what's going on in the small details okay right here you can see we just move it out and i think after this moving we ready for do some dodge and burn for this um if you want to change shape you can change shape right now but i think shape is fine so we'll go just create new layer and we'll just create a dodge and burn layer we'll go i'm going to fill up with 50 percent gray you can do on a clear if you want it it's up to your techniques whatever it's multiple ways to skin a cat but usually i do um gray because i can preview i use the gray and i'm using just a black and white original tools this was right here you can see dodge and burn so you can use directly those tools but brush with just simple um 10 percent black and 10 percent white to work for me what i'm going it's first enhance shadows in those areas where they are because sometimes it's hard to begin and you don't know um how to create and remember the shapes the black shadows and highlights it's what creating shapes in our image because we don't have a 3d image it is 2d image and a dark and light it's what create luminosity channels what creating for us the shapes it's what make us you technically you can create almost anything you want here and i'm using black and white used x key just to kind of jump between black and white and you can see just add a little bit highlights a little bit on the eyes bring not too much be careful with the eyes and i'm just adding a little bit highlights and if you want puffy lips just add one on the top on the bottom remember it's what illusions it's what we're creating x darker i'll just create a little bit like this so you can see just leave it bring a little bit more in you know like this is ridiculous i don't like that things so let's go ahead um on the remove stuff i did right there so we'll have the gray and this line i just draw and i don't like it so we'll just 
gray out. And because 50% gray, I'm just restoring back to this. Okay, let's go back to black. Okay, that's better. So we'll just add a little bit shadows. That's what we're going to do. And I'm looking general shadows. So we'll just add. Here, let's go with the arm as well. Add a little bit more. Let's go switch to the white and line right there with white. Okay, we also add okay. You can see how we just added a little bit more. And what we have it before and after, so we'll just add a little bit more shaping to this, you know, what? maybe um, let's go black. And also to create darker, we'll create a for us a little bit more shadows. And because she's sitting kind of towards us, we want to make it darker here. So we'll create a little bit more like back and she'll go forward a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so right here we'll create this dramatic look. Again, you don't need to do create this heavy, you always have your opacity, so you can see how much of the effect you actually want to apply. I'll leave it 100% for now. The next I want to create hair. Right now hair is very natural, it's look all down, but I want to create more painted hair. So Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E, take everything combined together. We'll call it hair. And we're going to filter stylize we'll go to oil painting and the oil painting will set 10 10 1 1 it's very simple and we want to have it lighting enabled the reason without lighting it will have it a little bit more flat with a lighting we still have it seen a string and that's what i'm going after click ok and i want to actually enhance a little bit more on those lines make separation and we can do this with filter sharpening unsharp mask and will pop up on a higher level, maybe about 250. Oops, actually 250 should work. Okay, now you can see hair kind of look like painting. We don't want anywhere except on a hair. So we'll go to press Alt or Option and a mask. Again, it will take and hide. Take our paint tool with white 10% opacity. I'm start painting in just in a place of the hair. So this will help us to remove some cross um, cross hair, cross line, which is make a little bit more strength and will look a little bit more paint like on a hair. Um, also right here, you see where the hair come from the it's called many times when you have a model and wear wig, you can very easy fix it and hide wig inside with the same techniques. So because it will kind of the added edge edge will look more it's going inside, uh, maybe just a little bit on her eyebrows clean up a little bit there not too much slightly be careful how you use this tool you don't want overdone but we want to create this um, nice painting clean look okay so we'll add there a little bit let's go zoom out slightly and here with the before and after you can see it's a little bit noisy and now it's a little bit cleaner so not too much we don't want to overdo it but it says create nice look Okay, um, let's go next again, Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E to create new. Um, and we'll create kind of a detail in hands for this. Uh, so we'll go to image adjustment, go to black and white, and then black and white will just pop up a little bit red and yellow to make your skin come up a little bit better. Click OK, and next we'll go to image adjustments, shadow highlights. In shadow highlights, if you're in this mode basic, click on the show more options, then you'll have this expanded. And we want to do the radius maybe about 10 and 10. The radius may be varied based on your camera, but I found in most cases 10 pixels radius work just fine. We'll increase shadow amount 100%, highlights 100%. We'll take tone and bring a little bit down tone here and on the highlights as well. What it does, we'll go and use it soft 
light and soft light is contrast based mode so if we have 50 percent gray it won't have no effect but if it's darker it will have higher darker colors or higher darker luminosity or more brighter and bright areas that's what we're trying to do okay now so we're going to filter sharpen let's go to on sharp mask and on this what we have will just bring about 80 percent so we'll increase details and if you notice like in the uh, dress right there you can see how much it will bring details so let's go switch this to soft light okay before and after you can see how it is dehaze it almost and bring information we don't need it everywhere that so and also we can just go and take maybe about halfway down okay so let's go ahead next um at this point we're ready kind of to start putting our textures and a couple things i want to show you if you're interested in uh, other elements that I'm going to use, you can create your own or you can import them from other areas. Uh, before we actually start using clouds and this, I want to expand because I probably will put it wings and it will be bigger wings here. So we'll let's go to press Control Shift Alt E and we'll call this Extend Canvas. So we'll go to use this Extend Canvas. For this, we'll go to use it. Um, our tool content aware this is our marquee crop tool and with the in have it content aware it will expand and help us to um, kind of create the more of this cloud so I'm going to right now increase and we can done this way before and honestly I'm a little bit forgot to do this but it's okay we can do right now it should work just fine as well so we'll extend I normally don't try extend all the way at the same time because it is uh, sometimes grab it wrong information i'm just try to extend a little bit ahead and do so on so we'll have it expand here and probably expand a little bit more if we done a little bit bigger it's okay we'll shrink down when we start putting and again you can see right here we have the repetition which is fine we'll fix that one but what we needed it is probably just extend even more this way just expand here and up so I think like this let's go ahead press OK okay we can see some repetition again that is fine because we'll cover and these clouds will rework in a second so let's go ahead and create one more expansion can leave it up here drag a little bit sideways on a both and I want to make her symmetrical because I want to put it symmetrical wings kind of on the side and we'll see this okay let's go ahead and click again one more time okay and now you can see kind of done so let's go work a little bit on our clouds because you can see how symmetrical they work work very easy we'll just go ahead take patch tool we can select the some elements move slightly away maybe like around there and we can with patch tool we can easy just go around and create this different elements so it's slightly readjusting there you go okay same in this area we can go bring closer and create this area same we can do right here select with very fast with patch tool and remove some of those repetitions it's very easy fast way to do it um if you're worried about repetition down you can same things you can grab it and move it but most time we don't need worried because that will be sky and i mentioned about some sky and um where to have clouds and the wings you don't necessarily need it i have it videos how you can create by yourself uh, one thing only when you create by yourself it may take some time to render and uh, what i did i pre-created bunch of different wings for the angel with different position lighting and other stuff and as well i have clouds and i will provide link below for you so you can download it uh, purchase or whatever or be on a patreon and get them for free um it's work anyway um okay there also one thing notice what when i create this i want to create heavy backlighting 
and I did not have it in my collection, so I created new wings <laughs> kind of set with heavy backlight. So we'll go use those ones as well. But right now I want to use it clouds. And for this, this is the one I created before. So I'm going to use this sky. And we'll go on down alt. Actually, now let's go bring back shift and we'll just scale right around here. I think will work. So this is will be our backdrop first. And one thing when you work, you can create a different ways um, overlay, you can mask her out. I found out in some this one because I want to have it also background kind of coming true. So I usually just put it on and using brush, just literally brushing in painting the texture in. So we'll go hold, uh, hold on Alt, click on a mask to hide, we'll take our brush, be sure the mask is selected, not the image mask. And we'll start painting in very low opacity, 10%. Um, you can also just create a gray if you prefer that way. You can just select, for example, a specific gray level and go with 100% and just paint like the specific gray this way. You'll know you have a precise coloring. So this is one way we can do it. Or you can take white color and paint with intensity as you want it. So you can go either way. Um, but right now I'm start with a gray. So I'll just use it this way. And you can see that it's paint those clouds we have it, but we also have these textures coming through. And this is actually what I was going after. I want to create this kind of interesting blending mode between textures like it's in a settings and not in a settings. So it's kind of create this nice effect. Okay, let's go get closer by her legs. And this is what problem just going to like closer, closer to legs. Don't worry if you're going step over her, which is very nice. It's creating for us this blending. It's color blend as well. And it will create almost like backlighting going heated. So it's a benefit us when we do this way um, with the hair just a little bit wider bigger uh, one thing you'll notice we have it the grains and don't have grain on her but we have grain on the clouds which is fine we'll um, this address in our last step so we're addressing this grain issues again I'm doing with a hundred percent flow and my preset just a gray color you can use the 50 percent gray or any other color gray which is will work just fine uh, notice i'm doing this before wings and it's for reason because when we start putting wings you'll see how they start blending better together i tried before you know when you do this you experiment and experimenting and i try to put the wings first but i found when i do with the sky first it's kind of blending or look a little bit better together so uh, when i do this way um Again, these clouds and uh, wings will available. I'll send you a link that below in descriptions will be so you can get it. And if you um, kind of want to support you more than welcome, go on the Patreon and support uh, my tutorials, my videos. And of course, you'll get it. This box for free. Okay, let's go ahead on the mask. Hold down Alt and click on the mask so we can preview. And now I can just um, clean up some of those elements from the mask. Just help me see um, where I did not do it properly. There you go. And you can see we kind of have this gray mask kind of done. Um, nice things. Oops, I don't need this. I need just click on the mask again. If I want to enhance something, I can always go back bring just a little bit brighter or have it white and for example i can go and just like you know highlights some of those elements just blend them even better or brighten up some of this okay so that one it seems like look um good so let's go ahead and bring some of the wings and i have to say i created some backlight wings um, that was a little bit tricky to do because you need to set up with the uh, lights and other stuff and put it on the back and it's take a long time to render surprisingly. So I was happy um, 
kind of done and right here on, yeah on the back like right here on her um let's increase in size i want to create this massive like look wings and maybe just slightly tilt it with her body because her body is tilted and we'll see in a second if it will work how i want it or not and right there i think this is almost okay let's just shrink down so the top does not go over i think that is good let's press enter and it will smart object which is nice so we can convert and by the way these wings they're very high resolution when i render and that's for a reason because i work with very high resolution images and i want to be sure the details and everything is work properly okay so we'll go just take them down a little bit and i'm going position right here by her shoulders i think this is about right way okay let's go back restore to 100 percent and we're going to create a mask on this again alt hiding and now we'll take our brush and start brushing in and i want brushing with a white percent let's go with a 10 percent opacity right here we'll set and we can start brushing in so we'll go the reason is why i'm doing with low percent because now i can blend them not 100 percent but i can blend better with the colors so i can see where the coloring will be become stronger so i can like opacity right there i can lower opacity and as i'm getting closer to her i'm increasing opacity okay like right there so it will give it this translucency effect Okay, let's go get very close to our model and right here if you remember i said we before sky so because we've done this they blend much better now together because we still have this sky behind otherwise we'll need it kind of more tricky and harder to do that okay we'll go on our hands and if we step like right here on purposely see like i'm going overhand that is okay because what we're going to do it's okay you can always reverse to black make a smaller okay and just uh, like 30 percent for example opacity and you can just paint back hiding with mask so this is nice thing because it's non-destructive we don't directly affecting image we just um Let's hide just a little bit more. We're just working with uh, uh, masking. It's all that we do. Okay, let me hide this a little bit off. Can X, 10%, we'll go more. And I'm also looking on a pass to the wings. For example, right here is a backlight, back lead. I'm kind of want to in emphasize a little bit more. Create kind of glowing better. And this is again, this is um, a render specifically with a back glow. So it's meaning our wings kind of have it lights. Um, you can do this by yourself, those wings render. Um, and I'm going to make video how to do this. Um, you can use a DAS Studio to render this. However, you do need to purchase the wings model itself. Um, but that studio is free so you can download it for free and you can use it inside render um it will take a little bit practice to do um to set up lights how you want it but after time you can create by yourself if you wish to do that but um honestly if i can create all my models if i need it but I found um, for me personally, it's much easier just go purchase or purchase elements. And I'm going to use like Envanto elements or other areas where, um, where I can go easy, purchase specific item, use it image when I need it. It saves a lot of time for me. So that's the reason why I'm using by myself. Okay, I think this kind of good. Let's go put it some rock texture right here on this area. Okay, and um, again, I'm using the same rock that I have um, it's from that pack okay so just right there 
I think that will work. Let's go squish just a little bit. I'm just creating square that cover the area for me perfectly. Again, creating mask, alt and hide. And now we'll take our brush, go closer to our rock and we'll start painting in some of this texture. Um, one thing sometimes with this texture, if it's too strong, we can switch. Remember, you can go from normal mode, what we had before, you can switch like to the soft light. And that way we'll have an interesting effect, but without too much um, overpowered kind of. So it's almost like those elements blending and we can have it steps right there showing. And it's the best way to create almost like a, a rocks look elements okay we'll go just paint around there there you go so let's look before and after okay this is one way next um i do want to create a little bit more glowing effect behind um so we'll go on the sky just behind the wings but where the sky will go create new layer we'll go fill up with 50 percent gray Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the soft light. This is, will be our glow dodge and burn, kind of on the back. We'll take our brush, be sure it is set um, to the white color, 10%, and we'll just right here behind, just kind of like add slightly. We'll, of course, it will fall on here a little bit, but this is what kind of almost like lighting going behind. So we'll need it create highlights right here maybe a little bit on the clouds slightly okay but mostly right there i want to create there you go a little bit light again let's switch to the black color and i'll just uh, darken some right below so we'll what is done we gain creating this creative way vignetting um, by creating a darker and lighter areas and focusing directly on our model. So it's what we're doing in this case. Okay, so right here, actually, you know what? I see a light right there, so I'll point, kind of like try to enhance some of those light elements. Okay, this is one way. Let's go create new one. Now we'll go create above all of them. We'll go create new layer and let's call this clouds. Okay, now I want to add some of the fog elements to the scenery. So for this, we'll go and use it brushes. And I'm using um, Ron's brushes. They're available again on the DAS. You can purchase them. And I do highly recommend them. Um, I'm not on commission or anything with them. Uh, but it's what mostly I use it because I found they're very high quality and they're actually very useful. So I'm going to use it white, 100% click just preview okay they look like right there next we'll go closer and at this moment i'm using alt key to sample color so i'm sampling color of the clouds and i'm pressing like right there slightly so what it does it just help me a little bit hide this edges okay we can make it even bigger slightly press set different coloring if you want it you know what i mean it's work always better if you do um Kind of leave it not just in one color if you ma uh, mix them also we can use a different type of the clouds like right there okay let's go sample different clouds 100 percent we'll just make it bigger and one thing you'll notice if you start doing this way right here look how the um, edges start blending so this is what we needed. We creating um, cross blending with different colors. We just create the effect like it's almost there. So it's what we're doing. We blending the elements. Okay, and I'm sampling and I'm creating kind of effect right there. Sampling effect. Like what right here, maybe, you know, just add a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Add a little bit darker. Okay, let's zoom out. Here we go. Look a little bit better. 
uh, maybe just small brighter around that area. Let's move out. Okay, so we're done with kind of um, this look. Let's go ahead and create another layer. Actually, before layer, you know what I want to do? It's creating a glowing effect. And we can done the glowing effect different ways. We can use actually Control Shift at E, create new um, image. We can do call glow. And then we want to actually go to filter, blur, and go to Gaussian blur on this. Create maybe slightly more. So it's kind of like this blur out. Okay, and now what we can do, just simple switch this to the soft light. You can see it's create some blurring or a screen will create a bit more um, glowing effect. You can create mask on this, take a brush. Let's go switch back to our round soft brush, 10%, very soft. And we can start kind of slightly brushing in where we think the glow should happen, okay? For example, like around her hair, maybe. Okay, like on the wings. Some areas where you think the glow kind of need to happen. Maybe around there. Also, you know what? I think we maybe need it add hello to her right around here. So let's go do that. And the same, I created some of those items. Let's go just open. All right, here should be just a ring I created. Let's go look on the channels. Yep, they have the alpha. So I'm going to, um, this is what we're going to use the alpha. Okay, let's go to disable this, select all, press control. So we'll select alpha inside. And oops, wrong one. We'll go to our layers create a mask and in a right click let's convert to the smart object because anytime when I'm going to scale I want to have it actually as a smart object created so in this case I can easily go one way or another and let's take a little bit of time okay so right here it's done now I can drag and drop this okay now let's go right here yep there you go okay select drag and drop inside our image and one thing what I want to do it's a control T command T rotate slightly so we can see the way the lights will go and let's again scale down and just put it like around your hair I'm looking ways they can go um, yeah let's just maybe around Right there. Right there, okay. I think around there will look better. Okay, and next let's go again. Hold down Alt and click on the mask so it's hiding. We'll take our tool, same what we did before, 10% um, opacity and just slightly brushing in. So we'll just kind of like hair we need to be careful a little bit by the hair but overall brighten a little bit more on this side and slightly down okay use it hiding there a little bit more okay. and there you go a little bit brighter by this glowing area yeah I think it just add kind of a little bit more to look to this um, next let's go we created um, glowing one way. The other ones also you can use it the uh, different plugins. So for example, an arc one I like to use. It's very easy to do. So we'll go ahead, click generate, and it will create for us a little bit easy tool to add glowing. Work excellent if you do any um, cosplay photography. I mean, this is almost like must to have the plugin. 
Okay, one thing about the plugin, what I don't like it, it says give you like in a full screen mode going. So if you don't like this, you can go to view screen mode and switch to standard screen mode so you can see it. Otherwise, it will just fill up everything. So let's go ahead and click X-ray and with X-ray, I can see where the glowing will happen. So I can use the threshold just to increase slightly those elements. And I think here is OK. Um, I have a special videos how to use it with a mask, coloring and everything, but we'll go simplicity right now. So I'm just looking on threshold. We can disable X-ray. You can see before and after. So just add this extra glow with the wings and other thing. And when we're done, let's go ahead and click save and we'll just go call it glow. Okay, and when it's done, we have it, you can see we have it a very nice layer right here, smart object with all this going. So we can actually edit and modify it. But also um command control I let's inverse because I want paint. I don't necessarily want that heavy what we have before, but I want some of the glowing. So I'm ooh, control Z Z. Um have it hundred percent. I need only ten percent opacity. So I'm going to just paint here. Just paint around maybe twenty percent, paint around her and just a little bit more this area. So there you go, you can see um what was going, kind of creating a little bit more control. It. Um I don't know if I like on a ground, but it does. Let me look one thing. Um I think this is about right. Maybe composition a little bit closer. No, I think it's good. Okay. I'm sometimes looking on also composition and proportion. Maybe this is a little bit too empty spaces. If I did some uh, poster or anything, that is a good place to put a name or anything. Otherwise, maybe, you know, it does work. Work just um, try even a little bit shrink down. Like right there to create kind of a little bit more horizon because we have it right here horizon going. So it's about that line, I think will be about right. Um, but again, cropping and other things you can do later. I think, yeah, this little bit give it more um, effect for us. Okay, so done with this ones. Next, I want to create again a little bit more lighting, play with them shadows. So again, we'll go to create um, gray layer, switch to the soft light, and um, dodge and burn, another dodge and burn. So it's tons of I will use them. And then these ones will have it black 10%. So just increase again what we did before. Right here, just add a little bit more shadowing on the ground. Kind of hiding effect. Switch to the white color. And give it this ray effect of the glowing. So we'll go right there, a little bit more glowing on her. From the side and usually it's where lights coming from so I have this glow effect on the wings okay let's go ahead again X just add a little bit darker in some areas and it's playing between shadows to kind of creating this um, God race effect okay I think we're almost done one thing what I want to point on this if you remember originally we have it like smooth hair skin Let's go look. You see how noisy here and your skin is not noisy and it will stand out actually surprisingly quite a bit even in this resolution. So for that we want to make this uniform look grain all over. So let's go ahead again 50% gray fill up with this. We'll go to filter noise add noise and it's depending you can play around. I think for this image about 15% noise will be good. Uniform monochromatic click OK switch to the soft light. And now if we're going closer, you can see we'll have a little bit more uniform kind of going grain. We don't need necessarily that heavy, so we'll take opacity and reduce down. But now you can see how it's kind of start blending way better together. So this is what gives us look uniformity by blending those colors, blending the grain or just colors together as well. Okay, I think speak about colors, let's work on them. And for this, we'll have a few ways we can do. We can do true filter forge. And for the filter forge, we'll just create new layer. Okay, and um, 
let's go filter forage and the reason is i sometimes i go create a different coloring and you have it all these uh, curves doing or selected colors but sometimes you want to do fast and so what i did it i create my own filter and filter forge and uh, it's free filters i don't know, I remember how many they have they have thousands thousands of the different filters but this one specifically i created so i can go very easy um pre-select my coloring mode have it my presets and i can just click save me a lot of time and use it and again this filter itself they're free filter forage i think it's 30 days trial or you can buy it but again if you um kind of working with processing and you do a lot of photos you maybe consider to um, just get a try and see if you like it this because say i do like a lot and right here we click apply and you can see how with a few adjustments one click with presets we can go ahead and add this layer inside create um, color correction or toning over okay so right here it's toning is done and you can see before and after save quite a bit of time to create this uh, contrast if you don't like it you don't need to go all the way so normally i'm just maybe just a little bit but let's do other color correction as well so we can see how it will happen and usually i can go with a uh, curves if we go with curves we want to be sure we switch to the color mode it will apply only color channels won't do anything with luminosity or contrast and we'll go blue take a blue lore and usually my things uh, approach it is cold darker is cold brighter is warm so and that's what i'm doing i'm just selecting black colors darker one was kind of going kind of blue and this one same we'll just add like right there so this is what i call cine curve actually it's not just my name but it is have this cyan red coloring um right now it's too strong we don't need this much because we already have it other ones but overall it's a way you can add some coloring to this so uh, but other ones i like it's use it selective colors because with this i can have it a little bit more flexibility on the colors and luminosity as well so we'll go with a black and I'll just bring black a little bit up so I don't like total white or total black. We want just a little bit skew on this. And the same, we can you can see we can adjust, have it a little bit going in the blue, just pitch of the green and cyan. So it will go in red. We could create a little bit reddish, more water like look. But now let's go with a little bit colder look. Okay, now on the neutrals, we want to probably go a little bit more to the yellow, slightly green and reddish so it kind of create a warmer cyan look nice as well so it's kind of win-win in either way you can go and on the whites it's right here we can create just a little bit team down and let's go add yellow green red so we'll add a little bit warmer to this um you also can go ahead and play with different colors for example this is blue and you can see like right around there those areas so we can add a little bit more on the blues month kind of you know make them colder um, same things we can go with the red some of those areas where we have it and we can make it just slightly like on her skin maybe less warmer right there maybe around this area and right here you can see before and after you just add some nice effect um maybe play a little bit more with a guard ray just add some lights but i think it's worked very well so far um we could add um again this is coined like a painting if you do photography kind of style you may want to consider also to do um create new layer and add a little bit more blurring kind of focusing on a person so like for example let's go to filter blur gallery and we're going to iron blur and we'll just go select like on the middle give it extend and you can see um, the blurring happen but again this is usually does not happen in painting so this is it is purely um, photography effect kind of if you want to apply it 
but you can see like her wings and wings right there the little bit um thick. actually you know what maybe we could a little bit fix some of this ending on the wings in a second so let me go ahead over there Just one preview right there you can see blur but i'm not necessarily liking the photo effects so i'll go delete this one and we have filter forge so let's disable those two we don't want it we'll create Control shift alt e new and let's call this wings okay and on the wings i want to go to filter stylize we'll go to oil painting and just those ends i kind of don't like on the wings how they was going like right there so i want to fix a little bit them more locally a bit more interesting okay and uh, we'll just go scale down to one okay we need um Brussels. we don't really care about that so we'll go back to one again right there same things click ok um but it's fixed and you can see how the ends look just don't look on all oil just look on the ends of the how they look a little bit better right there and that's what we're going to do hold down alt or option click on a mask create mask take a brush um white color 10 percent and I'm just going over the wings so we can create kind of like painting effect and mostly what I'm going maybe even 20 percent I'm looking on these edges right here and you can see they just make them look a little bit better kind of more painter like and I'll just go over wings just create painting effect right there same let's go to the edges over edges slightly there you go so let's look closer on the wings yeah you can see the wings look a little bit better a little bit more paint like um blend we of course we can go ahead and uh, like take 10 percent and blend even more by um with your hair just in the edges so kind of almost like they're going together there you go okay i think that's all what i want to do so let's combine our colors and now we can go ahead just take all of these images combine together we'll call this retouching and here's what we have before we start with this photo we expanded canvas add all those elements and here's our final image hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it give it thumbs up check another videos that i create on a youtube on a tutorial so you can see how we can create different um, elements if you do want support you're more than welcome it's on a patreon remember if member of patreon you get it the big collection of this high resolution wings backgrounds and everything for free or you can just go and purchase them as well i provide all the links will be down below again have fun time to creating the image